I'm showing you how you can make a texture pack for Minecraft Java Edition 1.21. So let's get right in. To get started, you want to press on Windows and R at the same time, and then in the box that pops up, you want to type App Data, just like so. Then hit Enter or click on OK, and you should end up in this folder right here. Here we want to go into the folder called Roaming, then .minecraft, and then you might need to scroll down a little until you find the folder called Versions. In here, you'll find every Minecraft version that you have installed. What you want to do now is choose the version for which you want to make your pack. I'm going to be choosing Minecraft 1.21. You can choose any version you want. In this folder, you should see a jar file and a JSON file. If you can't see those file name extensions, then we need to enable those real quick because it's important for later as well. For me to enable them, I need to go over to View, show and make sure that file name extensions is ticked. Depending on your device or operating system, that might be a little bit different for you. Anyways, you want to locate the .jar file. Then I can right click on it and copy it just like that. Then I can close this folder and return to my desktop. Here I can hit Ctrl V and that is going to paste this jar file. I want to right click on it, go to rename it, and then remove the dot jar from the end, just like that. Then I want to actually replace it with dot zip, just like this. Make sure you do it exactly like that. It should give you this pop-up. We want to click on yes, and now as you can see, it's a zip file. What I can do now is right click on this and select the extract all option. Then click on extract. Depending on your operating system, you might not actually have that option. And if you don't, then I'll link a program called 7-Zip down in the description that allows you to do that. Anyways, now we just need to wait for this to extract. Now that's finished extracting, I have a 1.21 folder as well as a zip file. I can just delete the zip file because I don't need that anymore. In this 1.21 folder, there's going to be a bunch of things, but luckily we don't actually need most of it. You can press Ctrl A to select everything, then hold down Ctrl and press on the Assets folder. What that's going to do is that is going to deselect the Assets folder, then we can delete everything else. I recommend holding down Shift whilst deleting, because that's just going to skip the recycle bin and permanently delete all, in this case, 8,000 items in here. Now we're just left with the assets folder. In here, we can go into the assets folder, the Minecraft folder, and then the textures folder. All these folders out here, we don't really need, so you can delete them as well if you do wish to do so. Anyways, here inside of the textures folder, you'll notice a bunch more folders. How surprising, right? Anyways, in each of these folders, we actually have all of the Minecraft textures. So here in the block folder, we have all the blocks. In the entity folder, we have all of the entities. You get the idea. Basically, I'll show you how you can create your own texture pack. And I'll give an example in the block folder. I'll take the Acacia Planks texture. And in this case, I'm just going to open it up with paint.net. You can use anything to open up these textures, for example, Paint 3D or even Adobe Photoshop or something. Anyways, here inside of this, you can edit them however you want. In this case, I decided to make the Acacia Planks red, right? But of course, you can do whatever you want. In this case, I'll hit Ctrl S to save it, just like so. And then now, as you can see, the acacia planks are red. Now, the most important thing is right now, I am not allowed to rename this to, for example, red acacia planks. If I do that, it's not going to work, not going to show up in game. Don't do that. Whatever you do, don't rename these things. So now, of course, you can go here, modify as many blocks as you want. We'll see later that you can also go back after you've made this texture pack and edit it as well. Anyways, now I can, for example, I don't know, go over to the items folder and then make a custom item. I'll take the apple as an example. I'll open it with paint.net. Once again, you can use, of course, anything you want to open this up. And for this, I'm going to be doing something a little more interesting. You see this apple right here, I think it's a little bit basic. So what I'm going to do is in my case, I'm going to go image and then I'm going to resize it. In my case, it is 16 pixels by 16 pixels, but I'm going to increase that 
to 32 by 32 pixels. Now when I hit OK, it's going to be a lot bigger. Basically, all of these dots, or really squares that you see here, used to be pixels, but now I've made it really four times as big, and so each of the, these dots are now going to be four pixels. And I can show that just like this, as you can see, they're all four pixels now. So, I don't know, I can, for example, give this a black outline. So as you can see, I've given it a black outline, and in this case, the reason I was able to make the outline so thin is because I increased the size of the image and basically made it twice the resolution, or in theory, four times as large. Of course, you can do this however you want. You can make it smaller if you want to, but of course, you also don't have to do this. I'm just showing it right now as a little example of what you could do whilst texturing things. Once again, I'll hit Ctrl S to save this, and I'll close it up. Anyways, for me, my entire texture pack is finished. I don't want to edit anything else. And in that case, what I'm going to do is select everything I haven't edited and delete this. If you want to go back and edit textures in the future, then of course, maybe not delete everything. But it is good practice to delete everything you don't want to texture, seeing as it'll just greatly improve the performance of your texture pack. I'll go to the blocks folder as an example. I'm deleting right now 1060 items that I didn't texture. And you can probably imagine how that could improve game performance with this pack enabled, right? I can do that to everything else as well. And now, there we go, I've deleted everything. I only have the block and item folder and the things inside of it that I textured. So that is great. Now in my case, I have finished texturing everything I wanted to texture. And once you have done the same, you want to go back to the area where you see the assets folder. This exact location. Then you want to right click, go to new, and then select text document. Call this text document pack. Make sure that you don't use capital letters or anything like that, just pack, like so. Then you want to open that up. You can use any text editor you want. In my case, I'm using Notepad++. You can get that for free from the Microsoft Store if you wish to do so, or download it from the internet. But once again, you can use anything. Anyways, in this case, I'm going to hit Control V and paste in this right over here. You can copy this from right inside of the description. And basically, this little bit of code is going to allow Minecraft to recognize this as a texture pack. All right, there's a few things that we can or actually need to edit here. First off, the pack format. In this case, it has a value of one, but we actually want to change that. You want to head to this Minecraft wiki page, which is going to be linked down in the description below. As you can see, it is the pack format one. Then you want to find the list of resource pack formats. Here you'll see all of the values as well as the versions and releases that they're meant for. What you need to do now is decide what version you want to make your pack for. Really, you probably already did that right in the beginning of the video, remember? Anyways, in my case, I'm going to scroll down and here we go. That's my version. 1.21. So then in my case, my pack format is going to be 34. If you want to make your texture pack for, for example, 1.16.5, you're going to be using the value of 6. Anyways, back in this text document, in my case, the pack format was 34. In your case, it might be something else. Anyways, then, very important, Keep in mind that this is code. Say I were to accidentally maybe delete this comma right here. Well, that would mean that the code is now officially broken. Minecraft won't recognize it as a pack and it won't show up inside of Minecraft. So make sure you don't accidentally do that. And in this description area right over here, we can write a custom description for our pack in between these quotation marks. In my case, it's just gonna be it64's uh, custom pack. You can make it whatever you want, just make sure that you actually write it in between the quotation marks, right? 
Then once I finish doing that, I can hit Ctrl S to save this and then close it just like that. Now we aren't actually finished just yet. We want to right click on this and rename it. Why? Well, we want to remove the .txt from the end and replace it with .mcmeta. That is .mcmeta. Exactly like this. Then we're going to get this pop-up. We can click on yes. And now, as you can see, you'll know you'll have done this correctly if under type it says mcmeta file. Now we're almost finished, but we do have one more optional step. You can add an icon for your pack when it shows up inside of Minecraft. In my case, I'm going to be using my very own logo, which you can see right over here. But there's actually a few things we need to change about this file for it to work. First off, we want to rename this and we want to call it pack. Just like the pack.mc meta file. Once again, make sure that you're not using any capital letters. Next, I'm just going to quickly open this up with, for example, paint.net. You can open it up with anything, of course. And you just want to make sure that this image is square. If it's not square, it's either going to get cropped or stretched inside of Minecraft. Anyways, mine is square, so that's fine. Then you'll notice that under type, this is a JPG file. And basically, images come in a bunch of different file types. But Minecraft is a little bit racist, and they only accept one file type, and that is a PNG image. If your image is already a PNG, then you're fine and you don't need to change anything. If your image is not .png, then you need to change it to PNG, just like so. We've done this a few times now. Click on yes. As you can see, this is now pack.png. The type is a PNG file, and now we're happy, and Minecraft is too. Anyways, once we've done all of that, we can hit Ctrl A to select everything, or select everything just like so. Then right click and select the compress to zip file option. Once again, just like we saw in the beginning, depending on your device, you may not have this option right here, but then you can install a program like 7zip, and that is going to add that. Anyways, I can compress the zip file, just like this, and this is my pack. I can call this whatever I want, so I'll call this It's Me 64's uh, custom pack, for example. Just like that. And actually, I'll put the version behind it as well, because that way I can remember what version it is. Of course, you can call it whatever you want. So now that I officially have my texture pack, I can drag it right over to my desktop. That way, it's really easy for me to find and I know where it is. If you want to, you can save this and you can, for example, also edit your pack later. In my case, my pack is done now and I don't want this folder anymore, so I can just delete it. Anyways, now we can open up Minecraft. In the Minecraft launcher, of course, make sure you've selected the version that you made your pack for. As you can see, I've started up Minecraft 1.21. I can go into options, resource packs, and then drag in my pack just like so. Now, as you can see, we have It's V64's custom pack right over here. You can see the description is underneath that, and we have the pack icon right there. I can click on this arrow, and that is going to enable it for us. There we are. So I've just loaded into a Minecraft world over here, and let's take a look at the items we textured. So here we have the acacia planks, and then we also have what we texture. Oh yeah, the apple. There we are. Very cool. So here we have the apple texture, which as you can see has the black background, as well as the acacia planks texture. Very cool, except for the fact that these don't really look like acacia planks anymore, right? Let's grab an item frame and see if you guys can see it a little better that way. Um, not like that. There we are. Look at that. The apple texture that I made as well as the acacia planks texture. Anyways, basically, that was how to make a texture pack in Minecraft. Of course, this was... Um, in theory, a really simple tutorial. You see, there's a million different things that you can do with a texture pack, and I've just showed you a few.
Here's a great example of a home screen customization pack I made that does something completely different than what I showed you in this video. Of course, the pack that MC Meta and icons and stuff like that are the same, but I'm just texturing different things. I have an entire playlist linked down in the description on all of the different things, or at least a whole bunch of them, that you can do with texture packs. If you're intrigued to learning more, then I recommend you check that out and see if there's any cool tutorials in there. Also, if you would like to download the texture pack that I made in this video as an example or something like that, then I will link it down in the description. Anyways, for right now, that was basically that. Thank you ever so much for watching, and I do hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye!